Tomorrow, hundreds of girls and their families will be in downtown Minneapolis, all to celebrate the first International Day of the Girl Minnesota. So this event will be at the Fueled Collective. It's free. It's open to the public. It focuses on black girl magic and girl power. And the goal is to inspire these girls to pursue their dreams and become leaders. So here to tell us all, much, all about it and so much more, Audra Robinson, founder and CEO of Rocky Robinson, which is, of course, a self-care line for products for black and brown girls. Audra, thanks for being with us today. Good morning. I mean, I can't think of a better person to bring this all together there and everything that you've done for Rocky Robinson. How did this event come to fruition? It started with just an idea. I wanted to find a way to, as an extension of my brand, continue to inspire girls. And International Day of the Girl had been on my radar for a while. It is a UN holiday that highlights the conditions of the 1.1 billion girls throughout the world. And it really covers topics from education to access to the internet, um, to housing, to employment. And so for me, I saw that as the right way to kind of put our stake in the ground along with an amazing community organization called Project Diva where they're all about celebrating and empowering girls and helping them envision what their lives should be. And along with Project Diva and the Rocky Robinson Self Care for Girls brand, we are so excited to bring International Day of the Girl Minnesota here um, at Fuel Collective on Saturday from 11 to three o'clock. So who's gonna be some of the speakers who are gonna be at tomorrow's event? Oh, the lineup is so exciting. We wanted to make sure as we set out to create that space and find corporate partners and organizations that's gonna join us to help nurture those, to nurture girls. We wanna make sure that we have the right speakers in place to inspire. So we've got mm. someone coming in from LA and Brooklyn and then a young teen Mogo who started her own doll line. So Kimberly Goldson, she is a designer. She was Project Runway season nine finalist. She's designed for Kobe, uh, sorry, Kobe Bryant, um, LeBron James, uh, his shoes. And she also has her own line at Saks Fifth Avenue as well as online. Denise Davis is the producer of Insecure as well as the Black Lady Sketch Show. And then again, Zoe, who is a mogul, started at seven and has her own doll line. So from wow. science, technology and design, We've got someone there to help uh, help our girls feel inspired on Saturday. Oh my gosh, they're what gonna a lot love of those speakers out there. Come on uh, down, right? Come down. <laughs> Audra, I am wondering your thoughts on you know why you think that girls' rights have have really been held back, have really remained limited here in Minnesota and across the country. Well, I think one we need more women to be serving in um, politics and creating policy, right? So when our interests are at the table and in the room, that will help shift the power. I think, you know, the, the changes are coming from a lot of different directions. It could be religious beliefs, um, law, whatever it is, we need more girls and women and our voices being heard. And we are, speaking of policymakers, the mayor of Minneapolis will be in the house on Saturday as well. He is a girl dad, so mm -hmm. we are looking forward to hearing from him on Saturday as well. And for us, and even the mission of International Day of the Girl, it's about empowering girls so that they will have a brighter future. One of our sponsors is US Bank, and we're so excited they came along this journey with us, as well as Best Buy. Um, to create that statement that from a corporation standpoint here in Minnesota, they're supporting the community. They want to create brighter future for mm -hmm. girls through careers, through savings, through building wealth and being a part of the economy here in Minnesota. So we're just excited about Saturday. I'm excited too. I mean, yeah. This is what an incredible thing that you have done to make sure that there is a great environment for young girls to come downtown mm -hmm. to Minneapolis tomorrow. Audra, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We hope to see you Saturday. Yeah, those girls are going to remember that forever. Oh, they are. Yeah, they yeah. certainly are.